Hello, my name is Craig and I'm a professional science educator in Montana, USA. This is a science and technology lesson called Demonstrating Primary Colors with a Computer and a Pro Scope. Objectives include teachers will effectively demonstrate primary colors using technology and students will state the primary colors and explain how humans perceive primary colors. Materials used in this demonstration are a computer with LCD screen, a video projector for displaying the demonstration, and a ProScope USB microscope. Here is the setup that I used. It is a MacBook laptop, a ProScope HR with a stand, although the old ProScope will work just fine and you can jury rig some sort of uh, ring stand and clamp to hold the proscope. The red arrow shows where the proscope is aimed on the screen. It will magnify a portion of the computer screen. I placed the proscope over a graphics box that I drew in a word processing document so that we can see the effects of changing the color of that box. This arrow shows the display window of the ProScope HR software, which is presently in the background behind the word processor. ProScope is magnifying the screen and is displaying the pixels of the screen, which look like little bars. When I did this lesson for my students, I simply displayed the computer screen that you see underneath the ProScope. Of course, the ProScope is not visible on the screen. In order to make this demonstration, I needed to make a movie of a portion of the screen. Now in order to make the video you're about to see, I used another application called Snaps Pro. It allows me to take a movie of a portion of the computer screen. The portion that I chose is shown in the red box. Of course the ProScope will not be there, just that portion of the screen. On the left is the word processing document, and on the right is the ProScope display, and those will be enlarged in the movie. And now for the science. We start with the color wheel in the center, and the graphics box is white. On the right, the pixels of that white box are all illuminated. Blue, green, and red from the top down. The human eye perceives blue, green, and red, when they're mixed together, as white. Now we're going to see the effects of moving the cursor in the color wheel and changing the color of the box. First, I'll drag the color cursor to the green. Notice that the red and blue pixels become dark, and all we see is the green pixels. Next, I'll drag it to the blue. That turns off the red and the green. Now, we'll drag it to the red, and only the red pixels are showing. But what does our eye see when we illuminate the green and the red pixels? yellow. The box is yellow. When we illuminate the red and the blue, we see a magenta box. And when we illuminate the blue and the green, we see a color called cyan. So what we've seen is that the pixels on a computer screen are made of the three primary colors, which our eyes perceive to make all the other colors. All three of them makes white, but when we mix two of them together, we can get magenta and cyan and yellow and everything in between. For example, notice that orange is mostly red with a little bit of green. As the, as the green fades out, color becomes orange. 
Now the hardest thing for my students to understand is that the three primary colors are red, green, and blue, and do not include yellow. And the primary colors are colors of light, of photons, that strike our eye. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.